Hi everyone. So let's start with management accounting and the first topic under management accounting that we'll see in this course will be investment appraisal. Now investment appraisal is one course that you will not only study in accounting, but if you guys study finance at undergrad level, you will come across investment appraisal too over there. This is quite an important topic and is something that is frequently used in the real world by managers. Now what is investment appraisal. So capital investment appraisal basically deals with, again, the decision making process that managers have to make. Managers have to make decisions or have to appraise different investments. And when I'm talking about investments, I'm particularly referring to capital investments, such as buying machines, starting up new products, expanding the existing investment they've already made. And all of this requires these managers to calculate the future cash flows. We'll discuss what is that for a capital project uh, or to see if they should go on profit basis and they have to make decisions. Their decision is primarily whether they should accept these investments or not. So you, you guys have to think about this when a business goes out to make an investment and that investment is also significant. It might not be significant, but even if they're planning to make an investment in anything that we've mentioned, they will have to make appraisals before that. They will have to calculate the profit cash flows. They will have to determine whether this will add to the value of the business or not. Because remember, ultimately, objective of a firm is to maximize the value for shareholders and the value of shareholders can only be maximized if investments lead to the highest value for the firm and essentially for the shareholders equity. So when we talk about investment appraisal, we will learn how to appraise different investment projects, what should the managers look at and how should they make a decision whether to accept this project or not. Right? Now, when looking at investments, managers will have to consider financial and non-financial factors. This chapter will particularly focus on financial factors. We learn how to make these decisions using different financial factors, different methods we'll use, but also we also have to consider non-financial factors. We cannot make decisions excluding non-financial factors and in your analysis, you guys will be required to examine non-financial factors. So some of the non-financial factors I could think of and we should discuss could be this. While making an investment, the business has to consider legal factors. Will there be a legal issue? For example, if you set up a school in an area where there might be legal concerns such as it, it is a residential area and the courts intervene or let's say the neighborhood goes to complain that a school should not operate in this area, there can be legal concerns. So while making a decision, the business will have to consider legal factors too. Environmental factors, such as a factory being set up near a school. We have seen many cases around the world where factory pollution or certain chemicals can be dangerous to kids who are going to that school. So there can be environmental concerns or any factory that pollutes the area and makes it difficult for the neighborhood to survive. So environmental factors will, ha will also have to be considered over here. Staff management concerns. Now the staff can feel threatened by the introduction of new machine or inter introduction of technology. As we all know that once capital intensity increases, then the labor starts to feel threatened by it because machines can essentially replace the manual labor work. Staff can also be concerned whether the business has sufficient liquidity to pay them bonuses due to lack of liquidity and there can be a decline in the morale of labor or management too. We also need to take into account any production process concerns such as while the time the machine is being replaced, will the production process be halted and will we lose out on sales during that period? Can the production process continue without the machine being replaced? Are there cheaper alternatives available? We will have to take into account all these non-financial factors too while making an investment. So when we talk about investment appraisal, that not only includes financial, that will also include non-financial factors in our analysis. Okay, now when we talk about financial factors, some of the most important 
methods which are in our course to appraise investment appraisal are the following payback period accounting rate of return the net present value method which is the most important method by the way and the most frequently used one and internal rate of return so these are the four methods we learn in this chapter which will help us appraise different investments now let me also make a differentiation over here only the accounting rate of return that is the one method that is an accounting method and is used by accounting managers so this is an accounting measure we need to take into consideration whereas the rest the payback period net present value and internal rate of return these are financial measures so they are used by or preferred by financial managers what's the difference between the accounting measure and the financial measure we will discuss that very soon uh, in the video coming up but these are the four methods we need to take into consideration while making any investment appraisal hey there if you like what you saw right now head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers videos revision guides flash cards and academic support all of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your a levels so i'll see you there on the platform